Yo, what's up guys? Um, so I'm gonna make a quick video today on how to fix this issue um, with these models of uh, GM trucks. My mom has been having this issue with their GMC Yukon where um, she'll be driving and then all of a sudden the steering wheel will get hard. And then um, sometimes I've even experienced it where you're turning into a parking lot or turning anywhere really. You turn it and then the steering wheel gets hard and then the, the whole car shuts off. Um, so that's one of the issues. Another one of the issues is um, the radio would like sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes the radio would just stop work and they go just shut off completely. Um, so that's another thing. Um, the voltage sometimes would dip below 14 and the alternator is good. I got the alternator tested and everything. Um, yeah, I know I need gas in and uh, to put air in the tire. But yeah, those, those are the issues that, um, that she's been having. Also, actually, the car, sometimes when you turn it off, it wouldn't start back on. It wouldn't crank at all. Like, it'd be like if you had no battery in the car. You put the key in and nothing at all. Um, and the, the positive wire would be really hot at times. So I've already checked a couple things. Um, if you take this panel off, uh, I'm sure there's a couple of videos you could watch. Take this panel off and then you could take off part of this cover. Um, there's a ground somewhere here and there's a ground on that side too um, You could check to make sure that it's actually making contact because I've read online that um, The insulation or whatever. I, I don't even know what it's called But there's something that gets in the way between the contact of those two grounds. So I've already checked I already cleaned them um, That wasn't the issue. The issue with this one was actually the ground cable going to the battery. So let's check that out right now So here's under the hood um, so Yesterday, I actually already did this, um, but I just want to make a video to help uh, in case there isn't any online. Um, so basically what would happen is this positive cable would get super hot, like super hot. Um, and I thought there was probably like a short somewhere, but there's actually no short. I already checked it. I've checked everything. There's no short. Um, there are a couple grounds like you could check this ground right here. I mean, you could just take it off, clean it up on both ends. Um, and then there's just the grounds that go from the battery to the engine block and the frame. So that's basically what we're gonna be switching out. Um, so first thing you wanna do, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, and then a 13 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever your preference is. So first things first, you wanna take this off um, 10 millimeter probably best to use a socket with an extension. So take that off And then if you look right here, I'm not sure what it is, but there's a little connector um, Go ahead and pull that off. You just pull it right off um, So once you do that, then we got to jack up the car and get under there So before we start this is what we're looking at So we already undid the 10 millimeter bolt We disconnected that and then as you go down, there are little little brackets that you have to either pull off or break off, whatever. Depends on how brittle it is. Um, yeah, so you just take these out, pull them off. And then all you have is two bolts go. So this one goes to the frame, the, the block, and then this one goes to the frame. Um, this is the 11 millimeter, and that's the 13 millimeter. So yeah, let, let me show you guys where to find those exactly. Let's see where this is at. So easily we could see one of the first locations of the, the grounds. This one's a 13 millimeter. That's the, um, the one that I showed you guys earlier. So just undo that with the ratchet or wrench. Take it off, clean up um, the block side. So the other one is located right here by i think this is a body bushing um but yeah look for the body bushing bolt nut whatever it is um and then so it's right there and then the ground is right there that's the smaller one that's the 11 millimeter or 10 millimeter i think it's a 10 millimeter actually so you're gonna take that off and then you should be able to you know just pull the whole thing out um just so you guys know let me see if i can show you right above the frame like where my hand is somewhere around here oh here it is i can't really show you the top but there's like one of those little plastic plugs that i showed you earlier 
it just pokes in right there so you could just pull it up and it'll come right out um and then if you want to just stick your hand here just follow the cable and then try to find any of those little plastic um those little plastic pieces that i showed you that kind of hold it in place just you know just pull it off um and then once the whole cable is free you should be able to pull it out through the the top of the uh throughout of the hood um so yeah just just those two bolts one two and then you just take those plastic connectors off then you can get out of there um yeah see this is what i was talking about this goes on top of the frame like that it holds it in place so just um undo all these little fasteners with your hands stuck up under there um and that's it you got it out then just repeat the process then you could just put your new cable put don't put this on yet put your grounds first or you can disconnect your positive put that on it doesn't matter um so yeah you just pass the cord in through there um just pay attention to where it goes through like through what lines it goes through so you could have it as similar to how it was as possible so I just connect this um you could see right there where is it that little right there that's a ground cable going to the block um but yeah just rod it all through there and then put the bolts back on and that's it um after that you should be set so if everything turned out good you should be able to start it right up just like that just ignore these messages But yeah, that's it. Um, I know this is a super quick video and I didn't even do the job in the video, but uh, it's pretty basic job. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, but yeah, super easy. It was like 90 bucks. I'll drop the link to the, um, the part in the description. I got it from O'Reilly's for like 90 bucks out the door. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope this fixes your issue too. Um, Drop a comment, whatever. Um, drop a like if this helped you. And yeah, thanks for watching.